I think there's so many different therapies out there and so many different therapists from the more mainstream to the more alternative. And it's really hard to know, you know, you might know you want help and you're willing to pay for that, but it's so hard to go through all of that and know the one for you. So first of all, I think just sit down with a piece of paper and work out exactly what you want to achieve out of therapy. And I think by just answering that question to yourself, what the goal is, what it is you're after, it will be easier to to, to sort through the different type of therapies because they're all basically a different kind of approach. And then the second thing I'd say, and I think it's so, so important, is just the therapist you choose. You know, if you think about it, when you want to open up and sort things out, who is it you go to? What, what kind of personality do they have? What kind of vibe do they have? Because who do you want to hold you? You know, there's there's a process in therapy where you're kind of just holding someone and like holding their space and holding their trust and kind of containing them in this safe space. Actually, one of my therapist friends said to me, she thought at the bottom of all therapy was issues with safety, just simply not feeling safe. And I do think that's so important when anyone comes into this therapy room, you know, it's like, I am holding them for that hour and I'm giving them a safe space. That sort of underpins everything. But then after that, there is an energy thing. You know, are you after somebody who is a more high energy, who's going to be kind of a partner with you um, and be a little bit pushy or a bit like, hold on, you know, you said that, but blah, blah, you know, kind of hold you a bit to account. Or do you want a much, much quieter energy person who's just got a, a much softer, quieter way about them? You know, is it older, younger, male, female, whatever? Just, just have a think about all of that. And then after that, honestly, if somebody won't let you talk to them in some form for free, don't go there. You know, you, you need some exchange just to get an idea. Because, I don't know, did somebody spend 10 grand on their super duper website and amazing photos and da da da? And, you know, it's all kind of image. And somebody else maybe did the whole thing for 50 quid. But that person would suit you so much better. Whereas that amazing website and everything looks so flash you know don't get kind of you know don't don't get sucked into all that just have a chat with someone it maybe it's only 10 minutes but but I don't know any therapist who wouldn't have a chat just to check that they feel you know the same connection for that person and that person feels that's somebody they'd like to work with so I really hope that helps I hope that hasn't confused you more and I do hope you get in touch